welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber Rachel, and today's video is going to be a realistic night routine of a stay-at-home mom. Now yesterday was a super crazy and hectic day and so the house was an absolute wreck. My daughter is super clingy right now and she only wants to be with me like 24-7. So these days it's really tough to get a lot of my cleaning done. So a lot of the time my cleaning doesn't actually begin until my daughter goes to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and start it off from once my daughter goes to bed. And I'm just going to go ahead and take you guys along with me and show you what I have to clean in order to have a nice clean house for a brand new day the next morning. Alright, so let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and get done is the cleaning of the loft area. It's a place where I just kind of sit and hang out, so I just wanted to go ahead and pick up my mess that I made throughout the day. Also, please keep in mind that we just moved into this house, so we haven't quite really decorated up here, so it's just kind of the essentials that we need right now. And next is the bathroom, so I'm going to dump out the water from my daughter's bathtub and then just kind of tidy up everything else. And oh my god, my wedgie is so bad, so please you guys ignore my wedgie throughout this entire video, please. Anything that's upstairs that needs to go down, I like to put on this little railing so that way I can grab it on my way. So here I'm just grabbing everything that needs to go downstairs and I'm going to tidy up down there. I 100% meant what I said about a realistic night routine, so I'm keeping it real with you guys. My kitchen is an absolute wreck. Oh look at my baby, she's so cute. But yeah, it is horrible. Today was a hectic and crazy day. I had to take my husband to the airport because he is in the military, so he left this morning. So I was not in the really good mindset, and you can tell that by my kitchen. It definitely reflects how I was feeling on the inside. But you know what? It's totally fine because I'm going to clean it up. So after I put some of this stuff away, I went ahead and started by putting away the food that I made for dinner. So I'm just transferring everything from the pots into a bowl that will go into the fridge. And then I grabbed this container because I definitely thought that all of it would fit, but clearly I was wrong, so I had to grab a different container and put it in there and luckily it fit. But of course, with just my luck, there's no lid for it, so I just put some tin foil over it and then I popped both of those containers in the fridge. And next I go ahead and move on to the eating area and then just tidy that up a little bit. And the absolute worst part about cleaning the kitchen is the dishes and of course I have a whole entire sink full. So I just go ahead and spray everything off and make sure everything has no food or anything on it and then I stick everything that I can into the dishwasher and load it up.
And after I finish the dishes and wipe off the counters, I like to go ahead and prep my daughter's formula for the next day. I always pre-portion out my formula so that way it's just easier and I don't have to fumble around with the scoop and measuring things out when I make her bottles. And once I'm done with that, I like to refill my Baby Brezza water warmer. We were in a rush to get to the airport this morning, so I didn't fully make my bed, but after I'm done with the kitchen, I come upstairs, I close my curtains, and then grab my stuff for my shower. And now that I am fresh and clean, I'm going to take my micellar water and go ahead and remove my makeup that I put on earlier in the day. And also, I swear that is not a hickey on my neck, it's a birthmark, I promise you guys. And once my makeup is removed, I'll take my Con Air face scrubber thingy with some Ulta facial cleanser and then I will just go ahead and wash my face. And once I'm done washing my face, I go ahead and I brush my teeth, and then I also have to scroll on TikTok because I'm absolutely addicted. And of course, I have to go in with my Listerine. And now my favorite part of the day, I get to sit down and watch some TV. Sometimes I'll eat, have a little drink and eat some snacks, but this is my favorite part. I just get to relax. Once my me time is over, I'll go into my daughter's room and I'll just check on her before I go to bed. I really don't know why, but she loves that corner, but I hate her being in the corner because I get really paranoid. So I'm gonna go ahead and move her over to the middle of the crib. Luckily she went right back to sleep, so I was able to finally breathe again. So I just go ahead and gather up all my stuff and go to the room and it's lights out. Alright you guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Also make sure you guys check out my What's in My Diaper Bag video that I'll have linked up here on the screen. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video.